Uh, but first, the first silverware of the season was handed out live on TalkSport on Saturday to Manchester City. Uh, Alexander Garnaccio looked like he won the trophy for United. Late Bernardo Silva equaliser took it to uh, penalties and City came out on top. Despite that, United boss Eric Ten Hag told TalkSport that things are going in a good direction for his side. We are going in a new season. I'm very pleased with the new structure. Uh, we're working very good together. And with the team was always good, and yeah, we can make step forwards. And I think in preseason we make some good steps, but also today we can take positives when we now um, yeah, step up and be more clinical in both boxes. Uh, then we can be a successful team. Mm. Um, I've rarely heard Eric Ten Hag say anything other than we are we are making progress. But yeah. you know, Ali, in fairness, it was important for them, wasn't it? Yeah, after that FA Cup win, to go back to Wembley and show that it wasn't just a one-off that they could compete with Manchester City. And bear in mind, both sides way below full strength. Listen, it's, it's difficult to gauge because you and I, you know, we're not tremendous fans of the fixture, right? In, in terms of, <clears throat> you know, what do you get from the, the teams that you're watching? You, you look at the city side and it's clearly missing four or five players about you would think automatically start if it was a massive game for them but you're spot on from United's point of view it was important that you could go out and perform and, and again show that <clears throat> against a weakened city side that they were more than a match and probably you know could have won the game and that's the way it turned out I, I, I thought if you're looking for positives from both sides Obviously, City won, and I thought Oscar Bob did really well. I mean, they played, did four or five players: Rico Lewis, um, obviously Oscar Bob, Mackey played, Nico O'Reilly played. You know, guys that in normal circumstances might not start, and they all did fine. I thought Oscar Bob did really well. But from United's point of view, it's going to be a really interesting season because I think there's a good few United players I've got a lot to prove, mm. and I include Rashford, I include Mason Mount, and guys like that. You mentioned Sancho before. Mason Mount's an interesting one, Jeff. I think it's a mass, a big, big season for him. I really do. And I thought United played well. They got themselves in trouble a little bit by doing trying to play out the back a little bit. <laughs> they could create a chance. I don't know where Johnny Evans was going, and and Oscar Bob played it, and the hit the post. But all in all, I thought United played well. I really did, in a game which, you know, you know, won't have a great significance in how the league campaign, you know, works out. We, we, we get that and we understand that. But if you take the game for what it is, I think Eric Ten Hag will be fairly happy. Uh, let's speak to a Manchester United fan, see if he is happy. Dan, good morning, Dan. Morning, Dan. Morning, chaps. How are you? Doing well, yeah, mate. Yeah, very good, thanks, Dan. So, what, were there positives to take from Saturday and, and are you optimistic going into the new season? You know what, I, I, I agree with the, both the points you made there. I think Ten Hag has a tendency to kind of spout the same kind of stuff that might not make a lot of sense. But this time, I actually think there are a lot of positives from the from the game on Saturday and, and also the cup final as well, which was the last competitive game. I think that there is improvements. And I think the biggest example of that is the chance where Mason Mount was just a little bit on his haunches where Ahmad crossed it across the... Uh, yeah. Six yard box is a brilliant move, that, and that's where you, you can carve through a, yes, a weaker Man City side like that, do it to anyone. Um, so, yeah, that's the biggest positive is going forward, I thought. See, well, looking at it, sorry, Dan, just looking at it, I take your point, but see that, but I thought he had a good first half, by the way, Ahmed Diallo. I thought he played well first half, and he looked li lively with that Guardiola a couple of times. I looked at that a couple of times, and, and I thought maybe, maybe that Mason Mount was on his heels but he actually wasn't he was moving forward and expecting it um, but I take your point I thought it was arguably the best move of the game yeah yeah. and, and Diallo has been spent a lot of money on right midfield in the last sort of three four years and he's just been there and I think now hopefully it will be his season to shine uh, we shall see look uh, good luck this season Dan thanks for the call thanks, appreciate Dan. it mate um, let's hear from an Aston Villa fan we're going to be at um, uh, Aston Villa's training ground live on Wednesday morning by the way uh, Giles morning to you Giles morning Giles morning how are you we're great thank yeah, you what have you got to say this morning what are you thinking um, I, I, I think the way it's loaded I don't think that can improve that much from last season uh, I think um, Villa have improved quietly, gone on the radar again. Uh, I think we're going to push hard. I think definitely Champions League is possible. We've not done what Newcastle did. Uh, I look at it, I think, you yeah, know, we need a striker still. We need another keeper, perhaps. But top four, nailed on. 
we won't go far in the Champions League. Let's be realistic. We haven't got that big a squad, but I think we'll challenge for something. And it's the best season too because United are still in transition. Spurs are just useless. Uh, I think the biggest team to watch this season are going to be Arsenal. I think that they will win it this year because I think City may be a little bit transitional with the players talking of leaving and coming. Uh, but I'm very optimistic as a Villa fan. Well, and so you should be after last last season's performance. I thought it was absolutely excellent. However, Gels, you clearly don't have any concerns at all about the number of extra games uh, 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 and that uh, that I think will have an impact on your team. Uh, not really, because if you look at the players we had injured last year, with Mings, Blendia, Kamara, they're all coming back. Mm. So they are 40, 50 million plus players coming back into the squad. Mm-hmm. And you, you've signed plenty as well, haven't you, with Anana and Mats and Ross Barkley, a few others as well. So uh, the, the squad looks a bit deeper. Um, look, thank you very much, Jazz, for the call. Appreciate it, mate. He's gone. Um, look, a couple of lines on the AFL. Um, uh, Jeff, hope you put that tenor on. Excellent to go up. I told you they looked good on Saturday. Rotherham were very poor. Steve Evans, a bad loser. He said, well, Steve's never liked losing, but who does <laughs> as a manager? Another text here. Crawley Town proving everyone wrong once again, beating Blackpool. It was a brilliant result for newly promoted Crawley. Scott Lindsay, what yeah. a gaffer he says. Uh, it is uh, 8.15. Coming up, we discuss what animal best represents the way Ali and I have aged over the years. I should be a grouse, should be shot. That's next. That's what we do here at TalkSport. We make the news and we break the news. <laughs> TalkSport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.